Percy Jackson and the Olympians finished with a spectacular final episode, but many questions remain unanswered and cliffhangers unresolved. Thankfully, we've already got the scoop on what's to come in the next season. After many years of waiting, the fans got the faithful adaptation of Rick Reardon's novel, The Lightning Thief, and the success was immediate. The show was the biggest debut for Disney-branded television, and the adaptation got very high ratings on Rotten Tomatoes from the audience and the critics alike. Combined with the great performances of the actors, the popularity isn't so surprising, and the fans can't wait for the next part of the story. At the end of the last episode, we see Percy, Annabeth, and Grover leaving Camp Half-Blood with different goals. Grover finally got his searcher's license, so he's on the quest to find Pan. Annabeth decided to give her father one more chance, and Percy returns home to his mother and attend another school. But the ending of the first season sets up an even bigger, more complicated story that makes the quest to find Zeus's master bolt look like nothing. Percy is aware of the upcoming threat, the titan god of time, and the father of several Olympians, Kronos, who is about to cause problems for the gods and demigods alike. As the fans of the novels might already know, season two will be adapting the second novel in the series, The Sea of Monsters, where the demigods will be in real threat of losing the only safe space many of them knew at the camp. One of the executive producers, Becky Reardon, said that the production already made progress in outlining the book, which will be brought to the big screens. She said in the interview, Sea of Monsters is one of my favorites. I really love that we're going to have more time with Grover. Season two will take us to the strange and dangerous waters where Percy should feel at home considering his father is Poseidon, but it's not really the case. The reason for Percy's upcoming trip is the failure of the borders around the camp that were powered by magic from Thalia's tree, which was poisoned. That puts the campers in danger, which means that some brave souls will have to accept the quest of saving the camp. Before Percy returns to the camp, he has weird dreams about Grover who appears in a wedding dress shop to hide before the Cyclops Polyphemus. Percy's new school also isn't all sunshine and rainbows, but it gets even worse when he's attacked by monsters. Annabeth, who once again ran away from her family, is in the town at the time, and luckily she saves Percy. In the school, however, Percy makes a new friend Tyson, who is, as we learn later, another son of Poseidon and a Cyclop. Even though Annabeth isn't Tyson, Tyson's fan, he comes with them to the camp where there's a new camp director, Tantalus. The quest of saving the camp is given to Ares's daughter, Clarice, who's supposed to find Golden Fleece that will heal the three. Unfortunately for Percy, he's about to be involved in the quest. This time around, it's Hermes who insists that Percy needs to go on the quest too, together with Annabeth and Tyson. During their quest, they not only face many dangerous situations, but also meet traitorous Luke Castellan, who works for Kronos. During their visit to the Sea of Monsters, Percy and Annabeth find time to go to the spa and relax at least in Annabeth's case, while Percy is stuck in the cage, transformed into a guinea pig by Circe. Many fans of the books already joke that Leah, who portrays Annabeth, will get a princess treatment this season. Luckily, the duo manages to escape from the island with Percy as a person again and make their way toward Polyphemus' island, where Grover is held hostage by the Cyclops who wants to marry Grover. With the help of Clarice and Tyson, they manage to not only save Grover, but also to recover Golden Fleece. But it wouldn't be a Percy Jackson story if the return to the camp was easy without any obstacles. The group is captured by Luke, who admits that he was the one who poisoned Thalia's tree, which cuts deep as Luke was Thalia's friend. But they're saved by Chiron and his family, also known as the Party Ponies, and they manage to return to the camp. Interestingly enough, the Golden Fleece is more powerful than everyone expected. Instead of the tree, there's Zeus's daughter Thalia, alive and well even after she spent the last seven years turned into a tree, her resurrection will once again complicate things in the Great Prophecy as she's another forbidden child who is alive besides Percy. Besides things from the book The Sea of Monsters, there's one thing that season two will need to address left from season one. In one of the episodes, we've learned that the trio is wanted by the police after the destruction of the arch. The show never addresses how the trio got their names cleared. In the book, it was Aris who was framed for all the crimes. But in the show, it never happened, so it'll be be interesting to see how Percy is able to attend a school without getting arrested. When one of the showrunners, Dan Schatz, was asked about the next season, which takes place for the most part on the ocean, he said, lots of boats, we're going back to our black sails days. This means some people in the production already have experience
experience with filming on the water. With the plot happening on the sea, Walker raised valid concerns about the filming. According to him, everything underwater was filmed on his last day, and while it was fun, he's worried about doing it for a prolonged time. He said in the interview, I'm a little bit nervous for next season because since I have to keep my eyes open on the second day, my eyes really started burning. I'll probably have to do a week of that, but he looks forward to spending more time in the sun, which will help him to get rid of his really pale complexion. He won't be transparent anymore. According to Arian, both Leah and Walker were already getting swimming lessons, which were supposed to prepare them for the filming of season two. The lessons were happening during the filming of the first season, but Leah would love to have more of them as the shooting will be definitely challenging for the young actors. Not only the production, but also the actors are ready to come back on the set. When Arian, who portrays Grover, was asked whether he was fitted for the dress, he said not yet, but he and Walker talked about it and he'd love to do it exactly like in Say Yes to the Dress, which means we might get a behind the scenes video from that happening. While the main trio will be once again in the center of happenings, many characters will get more screen time. An example could be Clarice LaRue and the actress Dior Goodjohn, who will be set to take upon herself a quest that will save the camp. However, with the story evolving, it's clear that we're about to get new cast members and the auditions could start sooner rather than later. We need actors for Tyson, Thalia, and many more people, but the production will have to recast Zeus because the actor Lance Reddick sadly passed away and his appearance in episode 8 was his last ever performance. Zeus is important for the story, so they need to find another actor, and Jonathan Steinberg said in the interview that they're trying to honor Lance's performance, but also make enough space for someone's new voice to be heard as well. In season 1, the production decided to change many things to better fit the overall theme of the series, which means season 2 will be also adjusted, and even the fans of the books might be surprised by the happenings in the show. But before diving into season 2, we need an official confirmation from Disney. Many fans of the show were surprised that there was no announcement in the form of Percy Jackson will return in the last episode. Walker said in the interview about the renewal of the show, we really have no idea. Nobody's telling us anything, but I'm guessing since we're outside a lot, we're probably going to be more on location. One of the reasons why the cast wasn't told the fans joke was the fear of Leah spoiling it before it could be announced, like it happened with important plot points during the interviews. While the next season isn't yet confirmed, everybody from the cast to the production is more than just hopeful to return to the set. According to the recent news, the writer's room for season two has been assembled, and the rumor has it that things are progressing rather smoothly. Steinberg said in the interview, there is an awareness on everyone's part that the demand for the show seems to suggest we should probably not stop making it. Rick said in the interview that the group responsible for developing the show is doing everything possible to be ready when Disney says that they want another season, but he's more than optimistic, as he said in the interview. If I was the Oracle, I would say the auguries are good. That means that the chances are high and it looks like we might get the announcement that Disney greenlighted another season any day now. With the show not being greenlighted, it's hard to say when we'll get it to the streaming service, but the predictions are that the new season could come in early 2025. But the production already surprised us when they released the first episode in December, while the expectations were set for 2024. But for good things, the audience has to wait and it looks like it might be worth it.